This award-winning smartphone is two years old and you may be wondering why that matters. Well, it does. Because today, you can get this phone for less than 250 CDs on Amazon. This means that for less than 1,500 CDs, you can get a phone which has the following incredible features. 1. Fast wireless charging. 2. Fast charging. 3. Water resistance. 4. Stereo speakers. 5. A fantastic display. 6. Fingerprint reader. 7. Waterproof. 8. An excellent camera. And 9. A processor which would put many of the mid-range phones selling today to shame. And this is just the phone. When you open the box, you get some cool and incredible accessories, including a pair of AKG earphones, USB Type-C cable, a fast charging adapter, USB-C connector which allows you to connect a pen drive to your phone, and also a micro USB connector which helps to connect the old kind of charging cables to this phone. You also get the ejection pin, the ear tips which allows you to you know change the tips of your earphones and then you get the manuals and start guides which like I said in my last video, nobody reads any longer. This phone does not come with a case though but considering all the accessories it comes with, I can overlook that. However. I would recommend that you buy a phone case as soon as possible since the back is made of glass and will pick up a lot of fingerprints. Also, you don't want your phone to break when it falls down, so please get a case for this phone so that you can keep it looking fresh and clean all the time. So now let us look at the phone and compare it with the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 smartphone and see if it makes sense to buy a 2017 flagship or a 2019 mid-range phone in 2019. The Samsung Galaxy S8 comes with 3000mAh battery, while most phones nowadays come with a minimum of 4000mAh and the Umidigi F1 even comes with 5000 plus mAh of battery capacity. This phone has a Quad HD display which is Super AMOLED and that simply means that it is an excellent display. The Huawei on the other hand has a full HD LCD display which means it is very good but the display of the Samsung Galaxy S8 looks far better. The Samsung Galaxy S8 because it was released 2 years ago comes with Android 7.0 but is upgradable to Android 9.0 and One UI whilst the Huawei Y9 Prime 29 comes installed with Android 9 out of the box. They both come with 4 gigs of RAM, but the processor of the Samsung Galaxy S8 is way better than that of the Huawei device. So it may seem that the two phones are closely matched. However, when it comes to features, the Samsung Galaxy S8 blows the mid-range phones of 2019 out of the water. Okay, are you ready? First of all, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is water resistant. So you don't have to be too worried if you walk in the rain with it or if it mistakenly falls into some water somewhere. Next, the Samsung Galaxy S8 has wireless charging. Speaking of charging, it also supports fast charging. So though in 2019 the battery size may seem very small, you can always get it charged quickly enough to continue using it when the battery goes down. This one also introduced iris scanning on Samsung devices which they claimed was faster and more secure than traditional fingerprint unlock. This does not mean there is no fingerprint unlock. There is. And finally, let's talk about the cameras on this device. This phone's cameras take way better pictures than most mid-range phones released in 2019. Apart from the amazing pictures, video recording is also amazing. You can record 4K videos at 30 frames per second and you can record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So would you prefer the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019? Let me know in the comments. The Samsung Galaxy S8 seems to be miles ahead of the mid-range phones, but let's see how it fares against its big brother the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus in the next review. You don't want to miss that massive comparison video. So do make sure to subscribe if you haven't and turn on all notifications when you are prompted to do so, so you don't miss the next review. Thanks Bebray.